Hello, I'm Jessica Amir for the Finance News Network. Joining me from Heron Resources is Managing Director and CEO, Wayne Taylor. Wayne, welcome to Finance News Network. Thank you, Jessica. So first up, Wayne, can you give us an introduction to Heron Resources? Certainly. Heron is a resource company with a project, uh, the Woodlawn Project, uh, which is uh, zinc copper located in New South Wales. The project, uh, high-grade polymetallic project, um, principal commodities are zinc and copper, but also appreciable lead, silver and gold. Current market cap's around $32 million. So you're seeking shareholder approval for a $240 million funding package. What does it contain? It contains both debt and equity. In the debt we have two components, a US $60 million senior secured loan and a US $16 million silver prepayment. On the equity side we have cornerstone investments to the tune of Aussie $104 million, a private placement to the tune of Aussie $31 million and a $5 million share purchase plan. So what does the proposed funding package mean for the project and existing shareholders? The proposed funding package provides us with full project funding through construction, through into commissioning and through into to full production. So this is realising a goal that we've set out for ourselves three years ago when we merged with Trialsman. So the shareholders are seeing us come to fruition with uh, what we outlined some years ago. And you've already got some private equity providers, so who's supporting the project? So we have three. Greenstone, who's currently our largest shareholder. Uh, between Greenstone and their partners, they'll be contributing around $42 million. Uh, we have Orion Mine Finance. Uh, with their debt, silver and equity components, we'll be contrib contributing about $130 million. And then we have Castle Lake, uh, a, a more diverse fund, and they'll be contributing around $33 million. And of course, what's the board recommending? The board is recommending that all shareholders support all resolutions to give effect to the funding package and allow us to start construction immediately. Now to the Woodlawn project in a little bit more detail. Can you tell us about the timeline, the resource and the economics? Sure. Woodlawn uh, is a project that consists of two production sources. We have the high grade underground, around six and a half million tonnes in resources, which uh, through uh, our conversion process produces about 2.8 million tonnes of reserves. It is what we consider a starter case on the underground, given that uh, all we've done is outlined enough to get the project financed at this point in time. The other production source is the tailings. We have 11 million tonnes in resources there, around 6% zinc equivalent, about 9.5 million tonnes reports to reserves. That will be processed through a single process plant to produce zinc, lead and copper concentrates with some base metal credits. In terms of the economics, we produced a feasibility study around 12 months ago that generated a 9.3 year mine life on reserves only, over $400 million in post-tax free cash and an IRR post-tax of 32%. A cost base which should see us in the lower half of the producer cost curve. From a revenue perspective, uh, around 52% of our revenue from zinc, 23 from copper, 15 from lead and around 10 from our precious metals. Um, looking at the time for, timeline, we expect to be into production at the tail end of 2018, early 2019, which is a good time in terms of delivery of zinc into the marketplace at the moment. A more general question now, Wayne. Can you tell us about your outlook for copper and zinc prices and what type of interest you've had from offtake partners, say commodity traders? Certainly. Uh, zinc is uh, the strongest in terms of supply-demand fundamentals in the base metal complex. Uh, there is a shortage of supply at the moment and that's been driven by a lack of investment in zinc mines for quite a number of years. And uh, for that reason, with consumption growing, we've got a gap and that is drawing on stocks at the moment and giving uh, good support to the price. We do expect to see that continue for the short to medium term uh, and that's part of the market that we want to go and, and enjoy being in. Copper, probably not quite as strong fundamentally at the moment, but uh, in the medium to long term, still looking very, very good, driven by everything that's electric. And um, we see that being a good space to be involved in as, as well as uh, Woodlawn progresses. Offtake, we've uh, signed up an agreement with Louis Dreyfus after a very uh, competitive process with quite a number of offtakers, and it, it just showed that there was a, a shortage of material. The terms have got are very attractive and uh, very pleased with that result. Last question now, Wayne. What's your goal for the next 12 months and what's your long-term ambition for the company? Look, our objectives for the next 12 months are very clear. We've got the construction of Woodlawn to uh, see through and get that into production. 
Beyond that, uh, we have a, a great portfolio of, of projects or, or tenements around Woodlawn where we can see some organic growth coming from. And uh, once we've got Woodlawn better down, well then we're, we're quite happy to look beyond that. Probably of note, uh, we cleaned up our project portfolio earlier this year through the spin out of our non-Woodlawn assets into Idea, which became an IPO listing in February able to return uh, through an in-species distribution shares to our shareholders, but that meant that we are now able to fully uh, focus our time and effort on Woodlawn. Well, Wayne Taylor, thanks so much for the update and good luck with the funding proposal. Thank you, Jessica.